to our Friday wrap up. We're here today um, at the end of the week with Clark Merrill, the owner and operator of Prime Bistro, one of the, the newest restaurant in Moorhead City. Um, and it is a very exciting spot. We're very happy to be here. Um, Kenny and Sharon were able to be present at their soft opening and they brought back lots of stories and full <laughs> bellies. So we are happy to be here and learn more about this exciting new spot. Thank you, Clark, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, talk to us a little bit about how this evolved, the building and yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, you know, Tim and Libby operated here for many, many years. And, you know, over the last few years, I guess pre-COVID, Libby and I had some conversations and, you know, she said, you know, she would poke at me and say, you know, why don't you buy the restaurant? <laughs> you know. Why don't you take it over? Tim and I are ready to retire and, and all of that. And it was always just kind of been fun. And then COVID happened, and I really think that everybody um, was trying to figure out what to do. How to operate, how to live, like how to do all the things. And Tim and Libby decided it was a good time to retire. And they did. So they shut the restaurant down, and they actually moved away. So the restaurant sat vacant for quite some time and I would drive by it and you know see it sitting here and of course you know the wheels are turning what can we do with it etc and um, so I called I called Libby and you know we ended up coming to an agreement um, long story short and we took possession of the property I think it was the end of last April last May so it's almost been a year and I had this idea of coming in and it would have been real easy to come behind them and just reopen it was a turnkey restaurant but uh, I wanted to, to make it different. I wanted to do something different. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, You've done, you. y'all, y'all done a great job uh, here. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, I wanted to do something higher end and just something that everybody would enjoy. Um, people like steaks. I mean, steaks are just, you know, middle America, you know, meat and potatoes. Yes. And we're, we're very much in a meat and potato community. Yeah. You know, as we started kind of digging in and really kind of carving out what the concept was going to look like, we got into just really amazing wine, um, and wine and steak go real well together. And you know, with that, we were able to. I don't know if you guys were able to pan over and see the you know the wine machines. That was something. That was an idea that was brought to me actually by one of my previous servers from Circa. Um, well, the nice thing about it is someone can get a really nice glass of wine rather than ordering a bottle. That's right. And. Yeah. It just works out. We wanted to offer an elevated dining experience. There's a lot of great restaurants in our community. Sure. In my opinion, there's nobody that's really like driving a service program on a high level. Um, and it, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort to just continually push into that every oh, day. Yeah. So, and we're not perfect. And we're still learning every day, but we have a really great leadership team. You know, uh, Jeremiah, who is our GM, you know, he, he greets you at the door. He's um, really sweet. Yeah, he's amazing. And then we have Sonia, who's our, our AGM, our beverage director. She's, she's amazing. Sonia's been working with me for a long, long time. Um, then we have a great chef and, and, and sous chef. And um, on the weekends, you'll find Liza, my wife, up here, you know, really kind of helping run the front. You know, what I'm learning is that, you know, we're being extremely intentional and everything that we're doing there's there's nothing that we do that's just cuz there's it's, right. it's not you know it's from the way that we set the tables you know the greeting um checking your coat uh just just um, being very deliberate in the service styles that we're we're, we're, we're offering um where we strategize on how to place your um doggy bag or your carryout bag on the table like what does that look like right and we use open table and open table gives us the ability to store data on our guest and it's some of it it's things that we've learned that we input and some of it's things that they've input so say when they make the reservation they say it's my wife or my husband's tony's birthday you know we're celebrating blah 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 so like that goes into open table and we know that right or let's say that we've had a guest down with us multiple times and we realize that you know Mrs. Smith doesn't like onions on her salad and she gets the blue cheese, or she gets the wedge with blue cheese, but she likes to sell out ranch, right? So we store that information in our table system. So 
so it's more personalized. It's more personalized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like we already we're, we've already like we're learning about our guests and what they really like to enjoy, and it just really kind of helps with the connection. So well, it does. It makes you feel special. Yeah. So like that's really what our intent here is: is to really make you feel special. Well, it's smooth. It it, is, it, yeah. it, it it operates a lot smoother mm -hmm. when you have people that are intentional. And it sounds like to me you've got a system, and and it's real important to have the right people in the right place. That's right. Because it, it it makes it run easier. It does. Yeah. I mean, and you know, I'll speak to the food. You know, and, and as we're looking at our menu offerings and how we wanted to kind of put that together on the menu. Um, the name of the restaurant is Prime Bistro, so naturally, you know, a, a good portion of our steak menu is going to be prime steaks. And we know we, we brought in a, a meat specialist, and he came in and had a three-hour clinic on meat with our team. Um, after he left, I had to apologize because it was so thorough. I did not know it was going to be that long <laughs> of, a, of a lecture, but it was amazing. There was just, they, they got to learn so much, and uh, even I had some great takeaways from that. I think that's, yeah, looking at your menu is you know, anyone can come and eat here. Anyone. Yeah, we have a hamburger on the menu. Mm -hmm. um, we have, you know, we're working with Marshallburg Farms. They're supplying us caviar, which is world class. And I think um, that's going well. It is going well. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, you know, I don't know how much you know about the searching program. It's really amazing. But, you know, when they harvest the row, mm -hmm. um, they have to uh, kill the fish. Yeah. Right? Which then creates another product. So we're doing a sturgeon, like a smoked sturgeon dip. So... We're, we have it on the menu in two places, just kind of like showing, like we're going to serve your, your you know, caviar, which you're so popular for, but we also have something to do with the meat, right? So that's that's kind of like a nod to that. Um, you know, I bought a, a, a pasta extruder, so we're making fresh pasta every day. Oh, wow. Actually, the, the team's back there making fresh pasta right now. So that's that's different. A lot of restaurants in this market are not doing that. Right. Um, it's incredibly different if you've never had fresh pasta, just the, the bite and the chew and the flavor is very different. Um, we're working with Blueish Market on, on some of our seafood program. Uh, yeah, it's it's we've had a we've had a good time putting this together. And we're continuing to refine. I've already we've already had four menu changes. We've been open twenty days. Oh wow. <laughs> and it's been and it's been small tweaks. Right. It's like we're gonna add this to that, or we're gonna take this away, or we're gonna change that. Or you know, there's been some items that I needed to raise you know raise the price on and there's been Quite a few items that I've lowered the price on. I'm right. like, that was too expensive. Right. You know, like we just need to drop this, or we need to drop the portion size and the price. So that's happened a little bit. You know, I just wanted to have a place that really represented, like, you know, had that steakhouse look. It has a little bit of a coastal element, but it but it has kind of more of a, a bigger city feel. Yes. And I'm very fortunate too because you know my brother is my contractor and his team. They did all the renovations and. You know, there was just a lot of like wood milling. Like if you look around, like um, you know, my brother and Mike and, and the rest of the team, and they they just they crushed the wood. Like you know, I designed it aesthetically. Like I put all the pieces in place, but they actually made it happen. They did the work. Yeah, they they did the painting and the caulking and all all of that stuff. So. Um, and then another thing I think is really nice is the, the paintings. Yes, local, a lot of local paintings. I think they're all local, actually. Yeah. So, uh, Michelle Fairchild yes. did Anthony Bourdain, and she did a lion that took me out. He's beautiful. In the, in the private dining room. And mm -hmm. I have her working on a couple other things for me. And then Corey is, uh, is an amazing artist, also. He does, he, you know, he does, he's really into bourbon, and uh -huh. he's into like painting um, liquor bottles, which is definitely is a niche. It's, it's, it, when he first told me, I was like, that's weird. And then I saw one and I was like, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you just mentioned the private dining. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have a private dining room. If you know that you want the dining room for the night, you can rent it for the night. Or if you have just a large party, we can we can get you in there uh, at different time intervals <laughs> to allow us to be able to use it either earlier or later. Or later. Well, part Thank you so much for joining yes. us today and talking to us about your new restaurant. Yeah. We wish you the very best, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, you guys. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you soon.